Our first live guests of the morning are quite the special duo. Two sisters right here in the triad are the first ever Miss Pofftown. I mispronounced that at the beginning. Oh, Miss Pofftown right. <laughs> and Miss Pofftown Teen USA. Yeah, they're going to make history this year because it'll be the first time that two sisters have oh, wow. competed simultaneously in the state pageant for North Carolina. Well, this is impressive. And joining us now is Miss Pofftown Alexandria Porter Phelps and Miss Pofftown Teen Aaliyah Phelps. Thank you, ladies, for joining us this morning. Good morning. Thank you. Oh, you both look beautiful. I love your sweaters, your hair, makeup, everything is on point. Yes. But we know that it had to be that way for you to even win these titles. So how does it feel not only to make history there in Pop Down, but in the state of North Carolina? It's very exciting to not only be able to do this together and support each other, but also be able to bring awareness to such a historic town and represent them for the first time. That's really cool. And what's most special about this too is that not only are you sisters, but there is quite an age difference between you. Talk about that and talk about how this is for the both of you. How do you support each other in the pageant world? I think it's really cool um, that we have this age gap because it allows me to have someone to look up to and a guide when we're trying to do the same things and just someone to look up to. It's very, it's very amazing to be able to see like your younger sibling, you know, achieve goals and kind of navigate things together and just to maybe even have that five minutes to help each other fix hair and makeup has been really nice. So what are some things that you are both personally looking forward to during your reign this year? I know this hits close to home. You are working towards a wonderful cause with being the winners. I'm really looking forward to help people that have social issues. Um, I think discrimination is a lot of thing, a thing that a lot of people face, and I want to help people get voices like my family did because I know a lot of people don't have that support. So I would love to support people that face discrimination. Yes, uh, as Aaliyah was saying, we had a wonderful support in our parents, Dawn and Michael Phelps, and with each other. And a lot of people don't necessarily have that support or know those resources. And so using, um, you know, the connections and networking through the pageant to raise awareness for social issues, as well as the invaluable experiences and opportunities we gain, it's a wonderful experience. Absolutely. Ali and Alexandria, we keep showing photos of you guys when you were little and like maybe I'm guessing these photos are like 10, 8 years ago. Can you sort of say how long have you been participating in these pageants and how long has it been a dream to sort of go for big mm -hmm. titles like this? This is actually my first year doing a pageant. I've always acted and I, I plan to continue acting after the pageant, but this is my first year trying pageant change. This is also my first year. Um, I think younger, we always watched pageants and thought it was an amazing experience and it looked very fun and possibly being that representation for another group of young girls was very exciting for us. And so we did um, wait through the pandemic and decided that this year would be a great year to jump in and do it together. Do you wanna share the talent that both of you chose? Um, so with the Miss USA organization, there actually is not a talent, um, but there is a series of interview portions, a dance number that is taught when there, and then of course your evening gown and a creati creativity section um, for your opening number. Oh, okay. Pretty impressive. Pretty impressive that this is your first pageant for oh, both no. of you and you both won for one. <laughs> That's going to go down in the record books for one. But I wanted to give you guys a, a chance to expand a little bit more about um, the platform that you chose. Why did you choose, you know, trying to get the, the word out about some of these social injustices? Yes, I think that for both of us, we've had unfortunate experiences with discrimination or bullying, um, both in um, just social situations or racial or even medical. And so again, being able to use the resources and the information we've learned throughout our experiences and provide that to other youth and other individuals who may be going through something similar was very important to us. And to show others that you can persevere and make it through a difficult life situation. 
That's impressive. And you guys are going to be definitely important to those young girls who want to yes. look up and do the same thing. And we also know quickly before we go that after this year's state pageant, you have some other dreams that involve the nonprofit. Can you explain a little bit about that? We want to come together to make it a nonprofit to help those people um, who are less fortunate with the discrimination and social issues. So um, that's really what we would like to do. And we're hoping we can continue to support Pop Town and represent North Carolina at the Miss USA pageant and again continue to expand that platform and raise awareness. Ladies, good luck indeed, and congratulations so far on your journey. Thank you for joining us this morning and representing your town very, very well. Folks at home can follow along on your Instagram accounts. The info is on your screen now. Thanks so much again, yeah. ladies. You can Thank come you on back anytime you want. Yeah. <laughs> All right, you're welcome.